Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode here on the Lucid SMP. We are starting off today over here at the gaming headquarters office. Um, if you remember from last episode, we had Onyx over and we discussed some plans for a new game. And we did not blackmail Druno into helping us, but we did get him to meet us over here and have a little discussion about our plans that were not blackmail related. And uh, well, let's just let's just roll the footage, and you guys will see kind of what his thoughts were on the whole process. Uh, hello, follow me this way. Sure, <laughs> <laughs> Good little entryway there uh, through the port, past the portal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Past the portal. Follow me, follow me. Yeah, correct. This here is the official Office of Gaming Headquarters. I didn't name it. That's just the name it has. The um, Oof Gulak. Correct. It's very important All to right, pronounce cool. it the right way. I, um, I got it. Got it <laughs> first time. So uh, I have made the official banner of Game Night. This is the new gaming district banner. Can you tell wow, what? I'm sure you can. Cool. You can tell what's going on there. Uh, and then, uh, I guess arcade the arcade or Game Boy. I can't. Decide. Game Boy. Game Boy. Yeah. Uh, and then, Game Boy, yes, perfect, yes. And then, you know, image. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I guess the position of Game Warden is kind of a rotating thing. I'm just the first Warden of the of the time. So the coordinator right. will throw up their own banner. So I made like a cityscape, considering I'm building a city. I thought it was you know, semi-fitting. Yes, I like the blue. Yeah, it's like a, like the night sky and like silhouettes of buildings, you know? Simple, easy to... Awesome. Yeah, so follow me up here to the coordinator's okay. office. So official. Um, yeah, you can have a seat here. Oh, okay. Nah, nah, nah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, you're. This is the waiting room. I'll tell you when I'm ready for you. Do we have hold music? I wish. No. Okay, I'm ready. You can come over. <laughs> Make sure my papers are in order. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Important stuff. Important stuff. Yeah. Uh, knock, knock. Come in, come in. Join me. Have a okay. seat. Have a seat. Have a seat. Yes, yes, yes. Hello, hello, yes. Hello, hello. So, as you're aware, um, I terraformed your area over there a little bit. I helped out. Um, I'm oh, not. Right. At, I'm not attempting to blackmail you here. I'm just of just offering not. some chance for assisting me and Onyx with a project. <laughs> All right, so I'll, I'll give you the rundown. I'll give you the yeah. rundown, kind of how I gave how I gave a table. I'll, I'll keep it simple. So we're, okay. we're we're making a big mini game over there. I say mini, but it's going to be bigger than mini. Um, it's a big mini, which didn't really. It's, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, we're we're on the same page, I think. <laughs> okay, great. So it's um so it's going to be a big arena, and you know, mini game will take place inside. And what I need is some redstone work to have like a scoreboard set up. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that's all I can do. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, basic gist of the game is you're going to have two players. Could just be one player, but, you know, we'll have two setups. I think that'll be the best way to go about it. Where an item gets input into a hopper. When that item gets input in, a score gets tallied. I was thinking oh, simple okay. redstone lights. I know you may want to do a little something bigger, potentially. Yeah, we, Ooh, we, we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, did you say one to two? So is there like an AI or like a computer plays? No, it'll be two people playing at once. So like, uh, oh, okay. Yeah, it's, it's a multiplayer game. But you yeah, could have... You can't play it by yourself. You could have it be played by yourself. That's that's. I don't know if that's going to be tricky or not, but I think the idea is, you know, say two scores being kept. First person to like 10 wins. Or it could be one person going and then it's like a timed feature. Like, you know, we'll just use, say, one side of the thing to score it. And then once they hit the 10-point the yeah, thing, yeah, yeah. time's up or whatever. Um, I was also thinking maybe do, like, um, a timer for a round. Like, you know, maybe have, like, a hopper clock that counts down, say, like, two minutes, three minutes, or some other better way to track time. To, like, you know, yeah. if, if they don't get to 10, yeah, it might be, you know, you know how one person. How are these clocks? Like That's, I was thinking, like, yeah, two or three minutes. I think it takes. I'll have to play test it a bit. I think to figure out the exact timing. But yeah, you know, I'm picturing maybe two or three minute rounds, because that's. I like it. That's what this is. That's where this comes into play. This guy. Is uh. That's why you had all the crossbows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you'll follow me downstairs here. Wow. <laughs> there is. There is. Okay. So there's a little section down here where you can ask for donations, which I've done already, and I've gotten some stuff from Jazz. 
If you look in this top donation chest, you'll see gunpowder, paper, and fire charges. Sure enough. Is that okay? So what I'm doing there is I'm making seven break fireworks, which are the maximum damage ones. Oh my god, yeah. And so, you know, you're going to have the players running through the arena to score. No, it's not loaded. You're good. You're good. You're good. (laughs) So the players are going to be running, you know, they pick up, say, a colored concrete. They run across the arena, avoiding obstacles drop it in the hopper, get a point, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, on the top of the arena will be people with these, making the challenge much more difficult to uh, get across to the arena to score points. Oh. American Gladiator style. Do they have to dunk these items? Like, uh, is it up in the air or is it on the ground, the hopper? I haven't gotten there yet. It may be on the ground. It may be, like, eye level to where it's... Yeah, like, you know, I'm not sure if it's going to be like you place the concrete powder on the wall, then it just gravity drops down in, or if you got to throw it. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we can, we'll figure out what's more fun and more efficient yeah, yeah, yeah. play-wise once we get to that point. Yeah, this is this is still very early stage planning. I'm just trying to gauge interest to see if anyone wants to join who just received yeah. three shulker boxes full of wood and a terraformed hill. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, me. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. This is a... This is a black valley. We're just you, you scratch no, my back and scratch yours. Ex- exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, my this crossbow isn't pointed at your face at all. There's oh, for no, no particular reason. You know, it's. I'll be back here if you need me. Yeah. You know, there's there's not a firework rocket in there with multi shot. That's not what's happening here. I have little pews. <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking of, have you ever been hit by one of these? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's it's not yeah. as bad as you'd think. It's it's not as bad as you'd think. <laughs> No, I'm not saying it doesn't do damage, because it does. But it's, it's oh, not right, as bad right, as you Of course, think. of course. Yeah, no, yeah. No, no, yeah. yeah um, <laughs> so you... Oh, I, that was, I thought that was your cue to shoot me, but it's okay. All right, I'm leaving now. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. What? You missed. How did... They went up. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> I was pointed directly at you. <laughs> we got to test things. We got to figure it out. Yeah, yeah. So does that, mean, right. does that mean you're in? Yes, I'm in. I'm totally in. Let's do it. Yes. All right, sounds good be real awkward if i wasn't in and i said that's true yeah Yeah, yeah. yes it'd be great yes sounds i I think it's going to be fun i think it's going to turn out pretty good so i'm excited yay i mentioned in our last episode that we were going to start tearing out a bunch of this land over here i think that's kind of what we're going to start working on today we've got a conduit down there we've got a beacon behind us i think we're kind of set up pretty well to go ahead and start removing a bunch of this land and digging it out to make a solid connection from our city out to the ocean. I was going to do a real nice slow time lapse here, but once I got to work I realized the water sources were breaking and there was a lot more to this than I thought. So I went and grabbed a bucket so I could fill in these edges as I break everything out, and I think we're going to have to jump into a faster time lapse. Just take a look at that. We spent 
far longer than I care to admit, terraforming out this whole waterway area. We ripped out that huge island that was right behind my head. We took out a ton of the land around it. We knocked out a bunch in the front here to kind of smooth it all out and layer it back. Brought in all kinds of nice decorations and terraformed it out. I think I touched pretty much every block down there. I definitely think it was worth it. It looks fantastic. I really like the way it's lit up in certain areas and looks kind of tropical. And then we even managed to add in our walkway down there. So it's a, not just a little patch anymore that's being tested out. We got it looking really nice and I did want to show it at night so we could see where it was all lit up. But let's go ahead and sleep real quick. All right, we just uh, slept and now we came down here onto ground level. We're going to check this out. As you can see, we got a nice little walkway. We got our pathway that's all lined up and I'm running around like a madman here. Um, let's jump out of this and head over and we'll take a peek up close. We've got a nice little walkway, like path wall. I want—I don't know what to call it. Let's. We have a nice walkway wall divider thing here. Um, found a nice use for the cherry trap doors. I feel like we've got our path walkway that kind of wraps all the way around. We've got nice little kind of overlook that we can kind of stand and enjoy the city or enjoy the water. A little bit closer of a look. Let's see if we can zoom in at some of the details down there. Um, again, this was a huge labor of love for me. Um, I'm not sure anyone's going to enjoy this quite as much as I do, but it does look really nice. I'm, I'm really happy I did it. And the biggest reason we did it is we wanted our, our waterway here to connect up to the ocean out there. Because we're going to put maybe a couple big ships in the area here. And on the far side of the city over there, we'll have a dock with a uh, like a marina and a dock area. We'll extend our little city walkway probably most of the way over there. We'll kind of head over and take a look at it from this side as well. I really, really enjoy the way this turned out. I think it's going to be nice and really fun once it extends all the way over. And we can have more of the city back here. We can do the little cheaty face cam and we'll jump out. We can see kind of the retaining wall from this side and get a slightly better look at the whole area here. We can jump underwater even. So yeah, it was a way bigger terraforming project than I originally thought. This is only supposed to be a small part of this video, but it ended up taking so long it became kind of the basis for the video. So with that said, Hope everybody enjoyed this one. It's a little shorter than normal, but that's all right. We'll get back to our normal full length stuff once we're back to our regular city projects instead of taking on these massive underwater terraforming things that only I'm going to see and enjoy for the most part. Um, again, I hope everybody enjoyed this one. If you did, uh, please be sure to like the video and consider subscribing to the channel. I'd greatly appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next video.